Okay, we are back, guys. So let's, let's not waste any more time. We'll keep on exploring. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here at the Orbital Factory. So we'll have to consider what to get. Uh, let's see. Uh, talk, to, talk to some people. Lots of famous stores. Okay. So much to do. Yeah, that's true. Anything else? All right, same thing. Hope this guy. Watch your step. The road specifically for orbital vehicles. So you can just wander into, into it. You'll have to wait for the policeman to standing over the intersection to give you a go-ahead going across. Here's some trivia for you. Those rules were laid down by the last year's Imperial Transportation Act, okay? Let's go across the street. No, damn it. <laughs> of course, they won't let us. Uh, let's see. All right, that's... All right, here's the weapon store. Here we go. All right, Kerrigan. Information. Okay, Lady Annabelle. Oh, this poor bastard. He's still looking for her. <laughs> Large as the same might be. I do have a plan to work around that. Wait for me, Lady Annabelle. Today, today is the day I finally find you. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to find her. Four months have already passed since Lady Annabelle took flight from home. Worried as I am, I now have a plan to find her. Wait for me, Lady Annabelle. Poor guy. He's got his work cut out for him. All right, so this is the Mulder. Ancient Mulder. As we are know. Okay, diverse place. Culture. Uh, come together. Center of Heimdall. Vancouver Street on which we stand. Tourists. Eyes dazzled. Okay, gotcha. So tourism is great here. That's good. Um, anything else? Experiencing the Azure Diva singing here. Okay. Azure Diva, huh? All right, here's Watson's. Aha. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Look at all these weapons. See, as you can see, you can see the Dragoon Lance from Final Fantasy VII, as well as Cloud's Buster Sword. Uh, you have these fencing blades from uh, Tales of Symphonia. And here you have the selection of all the XCOM guns. Guns from XCOM. With wide selection. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. And of course, you have all the other reject weapons on the wall behind them. <laughs> Alright, Watson. Welcome. It's not every day we get students here. Or the academy, you say? That explains it then. Alright, check out our wares. It's, this ain't a popular store, but we got some good stock. Gotcha. Uh, you'll be, all be joining the military one day. Remember my little story if you end up in the HMP. And make sure you keep Honda's nice and safe if you do. Oh, that's nice of you. Alright, let's see. Alright, so. Sase, Sasame Yuki. Okay. A tattoo with a delicate snow-like pattern on its surface. Okay. See, that lowers his... See... Oh, my God. Look. You notice, though, it lowers his speed by 3, but his agility goes back down by 5, but it increases his attack by 40. However, if I'm thinking right, maybe um, maybe uh, he'll get a good uh, stat boost after we upgrade it. So, there's Ruby Wand, Bastard Sword, Stinger, SG-30. A difficult to use shotgun that fires needle-shaped bullets. Holy shit. Uh, Gemini Star. T okay, Titanium Coat and Military Spikes. Holy shit. Okay, so... Alright, so our defense 571. It goes up by... Third... No, seven, eight, 20 points, sorry. My math. <laughs> but this goes down... But all the stats go back down. See, that's annoying. So I think I think we got the better deal. I think we got the better armor um, and uh, shoes, which is fine. I, at least in my opinion. I don't know... Hmm... I think I prefer more defense overall than, um, extra, uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. How much are these? 4,000, 4,300, 4, 450. Hmm, that's a lot. Shit. But the question, I think, I still think I should buy it. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy everyone a new weapon. Equip. Okay. God, just watch my poor money disappear, guys. Oh my god. My poor money. My poor wallet. Okay. Um, oh, we could have just done it here. So, if you notice, my speed and evasion uh, could get a boost. But let's see what happens after we upgrade the weapons. So... Oh, okay, we have to do it at the other shop, don't we? God damn it. Okay. Um, how much would it cost to sell those weapons, by the way? Let me check. Six, uh, not that much. Wow. That's, I, f I feel kind of ripped off, to be honest. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it's fine, I guess. All right, so let's go back to that. Let's go back to the, the Orbal shop uh, for a quick second. Uh, I notice we have a lot of new material as well. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I never really found a proper use for the U material other than upgrading weapons. All right, let's see what we can do. So, customize... All right, so it's going to cost five, so we'll do Reen, of course. Uh, do we have enough for everyone? I hope we have enough. So we'll do it We'll do it for Laura and Fee first. Okay, Ruby Force, Odd Eye. Shit, I only have for one more person. So Machias or um, Elliot. 
Damn. Shit, who should I use? His his arts goes up, but then there's Machias. Ah, uh, I guess we can do Ruby. No, I think we'll do Machias. He's he's at the short. No, we'll do we'll do Elliot. My bad. There we go. Okay, don't worry. We'll we'll um we'll get back to uh poor uh, Elliot. <laughs> Dual edge plus one. It's too bad they don't change the look of the weapon either, though. It doesn't seem like it. Does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Singer. Okay. Yeah, I, I've always tried to stay away from spending too much money when it comes to weapons. At least for at least for uh, Reen, because it feels like he he needs more stuff than everyone else. All right. So lastly, let's give her some stuff. Uh, let me see. Prevents poison. Hmm. Gladiator headband. CB recovery rate rises about. Ooh, okay, we'll give her that. And then. Oh, Medal of, of Vigor. Discipline, Fortitude. Plushy. We could give her more health. Um, God, there's so many things to choose from. What does anyone else have? Alright, he has the boost of these. 4,000. Fusion. We should probably raise his arts more. So let's do Silver Hourglass instead. Uh, okay, that gives a plus 5. There's a plus 10. Pinkard Plush. Wait, Metal? No, that's... Well... Energizes Wearer. We can give him the Metal of Vigor or the... Um, this one, because that that prevents confusion too and gives them more arts. Let's do that. There we go. Alright, she's got the evasion. Let's see, she she got what is this? Frog strap? He got more EP and speed. Hmm. I think she could use the Pinkard plush instead. She probably needs more health. Holy sphere prevents death blow. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea. Evergreen. We'll take this off. What does this give him? Defense. Sorry, guys. I know we're gonna we had to get exploration done soon, but uh, I just want to quickly do this so I don't uh, have to do it later. Metal vigor. Arts. Metal Discipline. Let's give him... Shit. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> we'll give him this. Why not? Give him more, more attack. And then her, she will get... Speed, Strength. We'll give her this one, the more health. Okay, I think everyone's fully equipped. Alright, again, we'll, we'll redo stats later if we have to. I feel kind of bad though. I'm, I wasted all that U material, to, for, especially for new weapons. Shit! I just realized how far along did I save? Actually, maybe you know what? I'm kind of having second thoughts about the items, so maybe I should. Yeah, I'm, I'm having second thoughts. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually reload the save. Actually, because I feel like I just I just want to do some people, so let's reload. Because again, I don't want to spend that much money. So if we go back, I know this is the first right where I'm actually redoing something. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm only gonna buy. Well, I guess we have to talk to the people again. Sort of. This poor bastard, Annabelle. <laughs> So as I was saying, um, I think I'm gonna get it for only a couple of people because it seems like Elliot and Maki's are actually pretty okay with their with the current stuff. But um, let's see, okay, same thing. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy the sword for, well, no, not for real. I'm gonna get a new sword for or a new weapon for. Actually, goddamn, I don't even know what to do now. 
Should I get this? Should I get the new weapons for Fee and and Agora? Because if I look at their current equipment, it's still pretty good, right? Well, Dual Edge and Braver. I think she can do better. I think me, I'm okay. I don't need to get anything new for my sword. Oh, I'll keep my sword. Uh, dual Edge. Because my attack is pretty high. 634. Four. His could go a bit higher, maybe. But it's okay. Uh, Buster Shot. Braver. 542. 570. Yeah, we'll get new weapons for just Fee and uh, Laura. So we'll do the Gemini Star. And then the Bastard Sword for uh, you. And that is it. Okay, and then we're gonna upgrade just those two weapons. That way we'll have some U material left behind because I get the feeling we're gonna need that a lot because U material apparently is scarce from what my friend told me. Of, but um, I mean you can get it from fighting certain monsters. Don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know when we can get it, like a nice steady supply of it. If you get what I'm saying. All right, so customize, bastard sword. There we go. So equipped. So that's a ton, huge, ton better. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. All right. So we'll give her some quick stuff. We should probably increase her attack more. Let's see, by five. By, here we go. Uh, metal Vigor. Yeah, why not? And then what does he have? We'll give him that cape because it prevented confusion. And where is it? Prismatic cape. Yeah. There we go. And then... You also have the uh, actually soul stole. He doesn't need the defense and the arts defense. Uh, eh, he doesn't need that. He needs more brute strength because he can deal the damage if he wants to. Uh, let me see. Metal fortitude raises motivation. Yeah, and then she'll have that one, the defense one. I just had it. Where to go? Oh wait, we can give her this one too. Shit. All right, Han. So. Damn, hold on. Where was the one I just had for uh, Reen? Prevents, Petrify. Soft Stole, okay. So we'll give her, give her this one. And then instead of that, we'll give her the... Actually, no. Let's give it to Fee, maybe? Evasion goes down by 5%, which is okay. Um, Prevents Delay. CP goes up if I give her this. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm spending too much time on that. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let's just get going. Ugh, God, see, RPG games, man. They make you think... They make you overthink or thinking too much. Right, so anyway, here's the Plaza Bifrost. All right, uh, Tourist. What's it to be scared of? Think all the money we saved to get to Erebonia. We can't sit around letting it all go to waste. And then... So this is the Fame Plaza Bifrost. I'm kind of nervous to go in. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is a huge store. Yep, it's a huge store. Okay, let's talk to these people before we go in. Pass it by. Oh, I talked to him already. Sorry. And then this is the Molder. Okay, yep. He talks about the culture. We already talked to him twice, but I'm just going to do it just in case. All right. Um, tourist. Got its fair share of famous historic buildings. Department store in Imperial Chronicle. All right. Talking about this place in novels. Okay. And what does she say? Novels are always running about the noise your footsteps make. All right. Totally right. Like in the mo movie. And then... Okay. So, sorry I had to skip those, but I, I wasted too much time, so I didn't want to lag behind. So, anyway, so we're going to go inside the proper entrance. Here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Is it a mall? It's a mall, isn't it? And, yep, it's a... Holy shit, it's a mall. Okay. Uh, I guess we can talk to everyone. All right. Ivana. On oh, mine, today is such a busy day. So much to buy. All right. Gets together on the dinner on the first night of the festival. Okay, cool. All right, so there's the stores actually over there. There's the information. And here's the manager, Verdi. Welcome to Plaza Bifrost. This one store has stood for 100 years now. Okay. Satisfaction. All right, and expectations. Okay. And all right, so we'll talk to the front desk first. Info. Thank you for your continued patronage. Our goal here is at the Bifrost is to ensure that customers leave are satisfied. Enjoy shopping with us today. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep exploring. So what's this one? The bookstore, right? Alterna. You'll find no better collection of knowledge. Alright, pursue our wares. I'm sure you'll find something that will enrich your life. 
All right. And you have the latest manga issue. All right, so we have that. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, cool. There we go. So we got those books. We'll read those later. I always forget to read them, but we will eventually. All right, so Renoa. Give me on this recipe to everyone who stops by during the summer festival. It's a recipe to make a delicious gratin. Don't believe me? Try it yourself. Sweet! Okay, cool. We got a recipe. Tomato gratin. Okay. Anything else? Weston House. We have a wide selection. Okay. And ingredients. We also offer a roasting service for coffee beans. If you enjoy brewing your own, give it a try. Cool. Alright, so what supplies do we need? Probably nothing. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay. We're good on food supplies. Unfortunately, it's the it's the ones we need, you know, <laughs> this, this, uh, the food supplies that we want to get, but they don't have. All right, so what's up here? Uh, okay, there's more people. All right, Flint's and... Ah, the cafe, okay. All right, so, customer. Shouldn't we at least go to uh, Mass at the Cathedral, Daddy? I'm always going there because of Sunday school, but none of you ever go. Okay. And almost time for the Summer Festival. Something planned, go for a meal or something, but that's about it. Alright, so let's see. And then Nathan. See the Honda military police station? Okay. Everything on this capital is safe and under control. So they basically like the police you'll find anywhere else, but with a fancier name. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh my god. No. Alright, Greg. You guys are from Thor's, aren't you? My parents work there. You guys know anyone from Class 7? I'm always hearing about them in their fancy red uniforms. Well, welcome to Hydra. Glad to have you. Glad to have you here. Oh, that's um, remember um, uh, Ramsey and the woman and the student union building. This is their son they're talking about. So that's kind of cool. All right, we serve some light meals here to go along with the coffee. I get all my cooking know-how straight from my dad, which means it probably won't taste too different from what you normally eat at Thor's. Ha ha ha. All right, so what do you have? Okay, this is the premium coffee, which is good. Uh, whole juice, berry tart. Uh, okay, we can buy a couple. We'll buy six. Let me get, wait, looks like that's seven. Okay. All right, so that's the cafe. Not bad. It's cool to meet the sun. <laughs> All right, so, hag. All the stores here in Plaza Avenue have some lofty reputations. You'll find pretty much anything you ever need here. At least if you're a new, if you, <laughs> at least if you're a comrade. Nobles might have different needs. Way to put in the uh, subtle subclass, huh? All right. All right, so, Le Patano. Welcome, we have a wide assortment of luxury goods, okay. Take your time and indulge your interests. I'm finding you something that catches your eye. Alright, let us know we'll put the custom order. So what do you sell here? General goods? Okay. So it's pretty much the same stuff. It doesn't seem like there's anything different. I mean, just the stat increases, if you notice, on the side, but... I don't know, look, like golden hourglass, silver hourglass, what's the point of getting these? <laughs> I'm, su I'm still surprised I'm missing stuff. Alright, anyway... That's it for here. So that's just random accessories. And what's this one? Flint's Drugstore. Alright, welcome. I'm Flint, and this is my drugstore. Uh, famous customers. No one the truth. The clothes we get is Governor Regnet's very regular visits. Buy something to keep him awake. <laughs> How many times have I told you to get some real rest now, Dad? Alright, we did have a visitor from the Opera House recently. But funny enough, they're looking for something to keep them awake, too. Their practice must be taking its toll. Alright, so what do you have? Ah, okay, so this is the healing item section. Not surprised. And of course, everything's so freaking expensive. Alright, battle skills. I oh, will buy five. There we go. Thank God they're cheap. I'd be pretty pissed off they were expensive. Alright, so we're done here. That's the good news. We're done here. So we can actually just go ahead and leave, I think. If I have to, I will make another part for today. Just to get all the exploration done. So sorry about the first, uh, like, what, 9, 12 minutes of uh, just customizing shit. <laughs> Alright, so there's the Imperial Kronga. We're not going there yet, of course. Um, so that's everything, right? Yeah, that should be everything. Alright, so let's just run down this side. Actually, can we fast travel? Yes, we can. Oh, no. That's the... Uh, uh, we've been here. Okay, yeah. Travel to another district. Uh, we were just at Alto Street, so we'll go to Garnier District. Aha. Going by tram again. Okay. Wow. This place is huge. 
All right, so it's another uh, more more clothing and stuff to buy. Holy shit. This is the Garnier District. It's famous for being home to Heimdall Opera House as well as a bunch of expensive jewelers and hotels. So it's kind of an entertainment district then. Doesn't seem like the kind of place we'd be spending much time in at least. There's a casino in one of the clubs around here too. It probably goes without saying, but it's completely off limits to us. I have to admit, I am curious. Boo. <laughs> I can do it about the casino, but I'd love to see something at the Opera House today. Or someday. I mean, their operas are the face of Erebonian culture after all. I'd love to see one too, especially if I could get one of the box seats. They must be amazing to earn such high praise from you two. But right now we got a request to take care of, so let's take a look around. A fine idea. Okay. So oh. Oh damn, I always miss the I always miss the active voices. My bad. I'll actually go to the note and check it out. Alright, here we go. So Oh, this is where they published the Imperial Chronicle newspaper. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, all right, so that's the hotel. So we don't need to go there yet. We're gonna go to the other ones first, obviously. All right, so tourist. Ho ho! What an exciting place this is. Famous opera house wasn't enough. They got a casino, nice clubs, and even multiple famous clothing stores. It took me a lifetime to enjoy everything. Yeah, no kidding. Um, if I had the money, I'd buy a, a shit ton of everything. That's for sure. With cock. Hello there. Are you here on a field trip? What well, a pleasure to see young students. All right. Learning about our rich culture, embodies one of everybody's standing traditions, and there's also San Corres, which currently has a national treasure on display. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I've been talking nonstop, so. Alright. Alright, national display, gotcha. So. Premio. Prince Alfin is making her way to the garden party, and Prince Cedric's taking part in the mass of the cathedral. Then there's Prince Oliver, who will be going to the summer races. Very first time all three of them will have taken part in the festival. What a thrilling year this is. Okay, same thing. And Zara. I do wonder what will come of those rumors regarding <clears throat> Princess Alphine's dance partner at the garden party. Everyone's debating so fiercely about who exactly it will be. <sighs> sure, Hells isn't uh, high arms, that's for sure. Alright, so that is everyone here, right? Talk to everyone. Okay, old man and him. Uh, before that, what's over here? Oh, there's a food stand. <laughs> All right, Mona. Here we have the Heimdall Opera House. Large opera, okay, busting 250 years of exquisite history. Common meeting place for nobles in the Middle Ages. Uh, okay, greatest representative of everybody country to this day. Ooh, well, you're all big fans, okay. And tourist. I'm finally here. I've always dreamed of the day I'd be standing here ready to watch an opera. Uh-huh. Uh, famous troupe, too. They're called Arc and Sile. But when it comes to hi history and tradition, uh, Heimdall Opera House wa wins hands down. But I'd love to see them join forces and perform someday. Especially since I'm a fan of both. Okay, same thing. Right, did it say anything different? I forgot. Fine, okay, same thing. So, let's check out the stand over here. Ooh. Don't tell me, you're downright famished from all of the sightseeing, right? The biggest city on the continent. But fear not, my stall sells just what you need. Food! <laughs> okay. You're a good man, Corba. You know you know how to tug my heartstrings for food. Alright, what do you have? Tomato sandwich and banana crepe. Ooh, that's thirty two hundred health. That's not bad. Let's get let's get a couple. Let's get seven. Why not? See, I know you're all probably thinking, like, why are you spending all this money on on food instead of like actual equipment? Like, well think about it. I could probably heal much better than worry about certain items. Because I could, at least I can think on my feet, you know. Healing is a different story. That's different from, uh, oh shit, that's a lot. Alright, so this is a jeweler's, holy crap. Um, okay, so let's see. Tourist. What a beautiful tiara. I'm so glad I made the time to come and see it for myself. I never thought I'd have the chance to view the legendary crimson tiara in person. Okay. Why does it sound like something from the last game? Oh. Wow, a tiara encrusted with carnelians? This is about as ritzy as you can get. It's so shiny. Shiny. <laughs> Alright. Owner Cordelia. Good day. We're currently exhibiting this spectacular piece of antique jewelry, the Crimson Tiara. Ugh, truly breathtaking, isn't it? As a matter of fact, it's been considered rare inclusion as a national treasure due to its historical value. But go but go on, gaze upon its beauty to your heart's content. 
All right, Crimson Tiara was crafted by the hand during the Middle Ages. It's a magnificent representative work from that period. All right, this is a national treasure at all. That's kind of cool. I always, it's kind of, okay. Uh, citizen, so elegant so big, I can't help but sigh. I pride myself on having quite a collection of joy, but nothing I own holds a candle to this. Perhaps if I've been able to marry into royalty, I could have possessed something this exquisite. Okay. No, no, not jewelry's in everything. I mean, unless it gives you superpowers, then I'd be all over that shit. Like Green Lantern's ring. <laughs> Alright, security guard. We had to do some engineering work. Okay. Building is filled with Rainford's most cutting edge security. Not even the legendary Phantom Beast Thief could slip past this. Oh, great. <laughs> Just relax and enjoy a look around our store. Okay. See, I don't know who this Phantom B is, but I'm pretty sure he's he doesn't hold a can to Lupin. <laughs> Alright, so who's this? Ganon. Welcome to Sancor's Jewelers. Ah, has this diamond bracelet caught your eye. Design in particular, or popular. Okay, anything else? Oh, okay, so I thought there was like something else, like you could actually buy equipment here, but I guess not. Um, so that's those people. And here's her. Okay, here we go. To our store, I have to decide what you like to purchase. We offer an installment plan. And okay, ask any members. All right, so what do you have to offer? Wow. I mean, look at the stat boost. Holy shit. But look at the price. Like, holy shit. Three, four, five. I could probably only spend one and I'd be broke. <laughs> so, deep ochre. Prevents poison, blind, and burn. Prevents seal and mute. Prevents uh, freeze, petrifying stat down. Oh my god. Look at all this stuff. Evergreen. Okay, see, so I have one of the evergreens. I think that's... Okay, it's equipped on green. Yeah. Um... That's, well, god damn, it's so expensive, but I get the feeling, since I have the evergreen, I'm assuming we can actually get this stuff later in the game, hopefully. Um, so let's keep on going. Uh, we're almost up for time today, but you know what, I, I can make this part a bit longer, which is fine. Again, I want to get through all the explore, exploring done as soon as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and check the opera house. Uh, hopefully there's not, like, an event that's going to happen. Oh. So this is the opera house, huh? Might be nice to see a show sometime. You need to reserve your seats two months in advance, though. Whoa. And that's just for the cheap seats. <laughs> this was like anything. Like, oh, this is Heimdall. Okay, it seems only to your field stay. Ah, okay. That's still kind of cool though. They mention it. All right, so here we go. So I guess, hold on, can I actually go to a different street, or is it just gonna take us? Yep. Okay. So let's go to OST Street, Original Soundtrack Street. <laughs> I need to plug in my uh, phone so I can keep my timer going. All right, so where are we at? Hmm. Okay. It looks like the. I don't want. I don't want to call it the slums. Okay, but like it seems like the cheaper district, so to say. I don't know. Let's see what Elliot Machias has to say about this. <clears throat> All right. This is the original soundtrack district where I was born and raised. You'll find mostly lower class citizens and laborers living around here. Okay, there. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Lower class area. Huh. There are a lot of old looking buildings in this area, but it doesn't look especially run down. It wasn't included in the city's redevelopment plan, but they take good care of it nowadays. Once my father and Chancellor Osborne came into power, at least, the two of them managed to improve the employment numbers around here and, in turn, the standard of living. That's why they're so popular here in Heimdar. Chancellor Osborne, in particular, is famous for holding his ground against even the most influential nobles. Interesting. So does that mean uh, we're near your house, Machias? Yeah, relatively. While there isn't much to see here, everyone gets along pretty well and they're always there for each other. On that note, there are a number of people here who I'd like to see before we leave, but I'll do that later. Bye by me. Let's go. All right, cool. So this is where he lives, huh? All right. Hello, uh, old lady McGill. If you say the name Carl in this district, everyone knows you're talking about Carl Regnitz. He's made every single one of our lives better. He was always a smart kid, but no he Nobody expected that he grew up to be our governor. We're all really proud of him. Carl's always been a smart, good-hearted kid. Being the governor is a big responsibility, but I'm sure he can handle it. Okay. That's good. Alright, so there's question marks over there. So I'll probably save before we do anything, you know, bad. Alright, let's see. Ray. Hey, hey, did you hear? Seems like OST is going to be the last place to get decorated for the summer festival. But Mr. Carl is the governor. Why are we last? Because he doesn't give anyone special treatment. It's kind of annoying that the other heirs get to go first, though. 
Yeah, I get what you mean. Might as well get something done. It's not like we're doing anything else. I know Mr. Carl doesn't play fairs, but it's kind of annoying. Hey, Ray, how about we do something ourselves? Whoops. Anything different? Okay. Um, what's this place? Oh! Okay, it's just a house, duh. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, no-no. Okay. Alright, so, cha-cha-cha. Uh, no-no's my friend. We're always together. Okay. And then, Marl. Cha-cha's parents are regularly out of town on work, so they always leave her with us. I was worried at first about how she feels being away from her parents, but she seems perfectly happy. Between Cha-Cha and No-No, things have been more fun around here. Alright, Keen only ever talks about academia, but he's crazy about his granddaughter. He always takes his time to play with Cha-Cha and No-No on his days off. Okay. So, interesting. Family. And this is the Keaton. Okay. Alright, Honda has a population of 800,000, making it the most popular city in the Empire. No, in all West Sumeria. Uh, boasting a thousand years of history. See, I have Valfine Plows, I have a patch of the city. You should study the city your whole life and you still have more to learn. Okay. Although I teach philosophy at a university, I like to present myself as a historian of sorts. The city truly is one worth studying. Okay. Interesting. Do do. <clears throat> Alright, so. Um, let's see, what was this one? Alright, uh, we're gonna save. We're not gonna split the part. Yeah, I just wanna check out this district just in case anything bad happens. <laughs> Cause um, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like we can do one more part at least for today. At least that way we can be done with all the exploration and then we have, we don't have to do anything else, you know? For next time. Here we go. Let's see what we got ourselves into with these uh, mysterious question marks. Oh. Hmm. Looks like we've hit a dead end. Do you not see the door here, Laura? This area seems easy to get lost in. I want to know. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going in. Oh darn it! It's locked. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> There's pots here. Nothing. No items. I almost forgot about that. I should probably. I should probably be on the lookout for some items. If I see a sparkly somewhere. Okay. Nothing here, unfortunately. So let's see. So. Uh, district house. You know what? Okay. Whoops. I'm gonna save again. Uh, now we'll. Now we'll split the part. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to do one more part for today, and then uh, that should be done with all the uh, exploration, and then we'll get started on the side quest and everything next time. So, here we go, we're saving. Okay, so uh, hang on for a second, guys, we'll be right back. 